everyone and welcome to a new video. I'm sure this is one many of you have been waiting for because I've been talking about the fact that I'm going to do this and I have finally gotten time to sit down, record, and get this done. So if you stay tuned, we'll get busy. Got a lot to cover. I'll edit out as much as I can, but it's going to be a long video. Not that any of mine are ever short, but we've got a lot of product to cover. So hang tight and we'll get busy. ordered some brushes from Morphe. Now, uh, real quick, just when it comes to brushes, as many of you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I lost all of my brushes, literally. I, I just left with the kind of junky ones I had left at home. My entire brush case was stolen back in November, so along with my lighting. That's why I have no lighting right now, and actually, that's why my lighting is horrible as well, so hopefully I'll be able to get a ring light in the near future. Um, but first and foremost, I need to work on rebuilding my brush collection because I can't do makeup without brushes. There we go. Yeah. I just had to change the battery on my pitiful little light I have. And that helped a little bit. Anyway, so um, I purchased a couple Morphe brushes just to kind of get an idea of what they're like. And also I have, let's see, coming up I have a whole bunch of brushes of Real Techniques I purchased that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, I purchased, oh, I can't remember the other brand, I think it's kind of an off-brand. I purchased several of an off-brand to try those out. And just recently I just received an order with um, my uh, Wayne Goss brushes I purchased as well. So I will have uh, reviews coming up on all those in the future, but I figured we'll go over these real quick while I've, well, since I'm doing Morphe. And I also have this, which is, um, I subscribed to Morphe Me just to see if, uh, you know, just to see if it'd be worth it. And if you don't know what it is, it's a subscription service that sends you brushes every month uh, from Morphe. So we'll take a look at that too and see what's in that when we go over the brushes. And, um, Let's, and I'm real excited to check out the Wayne Goss ones. And here I just got done ordering all these Real Techniques brushes. <laughs> and they released their special edition collection ones, which I just, there's a purple one that has black and white pattern on the ferrules, and I just absolutely, or on the uh, handles. And I just absolutely love them. But I just got done buying all, you know, it's like, <laughs> it happens to me every time. I buy stuff and then new stuff comes out, kind of like last winter, you know. Oh no, those are coming up too, by the way. I still haven't reviewed the uh, Clarisonic and the uh, Luna and the Luna Mini. I have all those, but I just bought those and the new Clarisonic came out in the new Luna. So it is just my look. So if you want a new product to come out, just ask me to buy it and the new one will come out right after I buy it. Well, they did a real good job on packaging these, as you can see. So let's get into the pigments first. I know everybody wants to get to the Kathleen Lights palette, but you know what? Since I spent all this money buying these suckers, we're gonna look at them. And I'll put information down below in the description box if you're not interested in seeing these pigments, so you can uh, skip ahead. Okay, and as you can see, there's quite a few of them. Um, the let's packaging see that they come in. I'll take them out and show you individually, but we've got two packs of double here. So let's take a look, and I will be swatching each one of these on my hand, and we'll see what they're, uh, you know, see what they're like, see if they're worth the money. Now these pigments are $5.99 each. Sorry for the noise here. I'm trying to get these out of the packaging. Let's get them out of here and then I'll talk. Okay, so we have loads of them here. Oh my gosh, where do I start? There First. are 30 total shades of these pigments available. And like I said, I have every one of them here for you to see. And what I'm gonna do, um, you know, I'm gonna try and go as fast as I can, but I'm, I'm just gonna do a swatch of each one on my hand. I don't wanna do down my arm because, I, yeah, I just don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna do one across, you know, maybe I'll do a couple on my hand, three of them at a time or something. Okay, so what I'll do is just show them to you, 
tell you the color, swatch it, and we'll go to the next one. So this one is richly made up, and I don't have these in any color order or anything. I'm just gonna grab them as they come. So, um, yeah. Okay, so the color on this one is MP040, which is richly made up. Let me if I can get a little closer. There we go. There. Oh, it's pretty looking. Richly made up. It's kind of a, uh, looks like an old gold. Oh, it's very soft. Very, very soft to the touch. As you can, nice pigmentation from what I can see. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's very pretty. Okay, so again, that is, I'll just, they're all gonna be MP0 and then the number. So I'll just read the number. So this is 40, richly made up. Look at the shine on that. That's gorgeous. That's like an old gold. Beautiful color. From the way that they feel just right off the bat, they're pretty soft. Um, you know, if the rest of them are like that, then I'm going to be a happy camper. Okay, next one is number 16. It's called So Chic and Polish. <laughs> this is kind of a, uh, I guess a tan champagne, maybe a darker champagne. Oh, that's, yeah, that's really nice. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm going to have fun with these. Isn't that pretty? Look at the shine. Beautiful. So again, that's number 16, So Chic and Polish. Okay, next is number 19. It's called Powder Room. And this one looks like uh, kind of a... Maybe it's a rose champagne. Got a little rose undertone in there. They're very soft to the touch. Um, if you press, you don't want to press hard into them because then they do start kind of sending product around, but not too bad. Look at that one. Aren't those pretty? I just happened to pick three colors randomly that actually go real nice together. That's beautiful. So the top one there we have is, this is richly number 40, richly made up. Number 16, So Chic and Polish. And number 19, Powder Room. So there's the first three. Nice. So far, I'm impressed, Morphe. I mean, you know, for $5.99, I'm sorry, but knowing, you know, how much pigments are in the, you know, market. Oh, and by the way, the other thing too, I forgot to tell you, these contain 0.11 ounces or three grams. So you're getting a hell of a lot of product in here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, nose itch, nose itch. Okay, next one is number 35, Celebrity Affair. And this is a darker, it's one of our darker ones. This is kind of a, uh, a taupey gunmetal taupe kind of, you know. First thing I saw it, I thought gunmetal, but it's it's got taupe in it too. Yeah, they're, they're really nice feeling. Um, you don't need to press hard to get the color out of them. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? Look at the shine. I mean, that's, you know, I, I'm pretty impressed for, now you can see, if I hold it, if it'll focus, you can see some of the product loose in the pan there, kind of up here and down where I, around my swatch. So I would say that, um, be gentle with them. You know, don't go digging your finger or your brush into them because if you do, you're probably gonna, you know, they look like they're on the fragile side, which I imagine is, why they tape both sides of the boxes and triple wrapped them in bubble. Okay, next one is number 17 on the rocks. And this one, kind of a pain to get out of the box. Oh, this is, that's pretty. That's a, uh, mm, how do I describe that? It's like a, a true brown, but it looks like it's got black undertone to it. This one's really soft. This one has a different texture than the previous one. Look at 
that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now when it swatches, it throws off a lot more copper in it than it looked. I mean, to me that, well now it does. <laughs> now it looks more copper, but it didn't to begin with. It looked like a brown with a kind of a black undertone, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's beautiful. Yeah, that's one of my favorite ones so far. And that's got a, a funny, it's got a different texture than Celebrity Affair, which I just did. So that one is, again, number 17 on the rocks. God, the packaging is just a pain. Okay, next one is number 13, Conceited. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Now this looks like a light champagne. It's just your standard, that'd be a really, from what I can see here, it looks like it'd be a real nice uh, highlight. Now this one's kind of, this one doesn't have that real super soft texture that On The Rocks did, but I mean, it's still soft, but it's not as soft. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a color of my skin. So it's kind of hard to see. It's there, it's beautiful, it's there. It's kind of a gold, a light gold champagne. It's hard to see on my skin though, but yeah, that'd be a really pretty, um, that'd be a real pretty highlighter. So again, that's number 13, Conceited. Let's see, I can pop one more on my hand here. Now we're gonna do a number 11, Socially Broken. Who came up with these things? <laughs> you gotta wonder what people are thinking when they name stuff. Now interestingly enough, this one looks very similar to On the Rocks in the pan. So we're gonna have to see, cause see how it kinda has that brown with the black undertone look to it? So let's see what she looks like after I swatch. Huh, okay, let's not go over the other one. Oh yeah, see the difference in them? Yeah, this one's got, uh, they're very similar, but this one's got a lot more brown in it. So again, this is number 11, Socially Broken. So on this hand, we have on the top, number 35, Celebrity Affair, then number 17, On the Rocks, number 13, Conceited, and number 11, Socially Broken. Aren't those pretty? I am really impressed with these so far. I mean, seriously, for $5.99. That's how much these are. And if you use somebody's, you know, so many people, I, I do not unfortunately have a code for you guys. So sorry, I am not a Morphe affiliate. Like I said, Morphe doesn't even know who I am. And honestly, I don't even know if Morphe has any affiliates that are my age, which, you know, it shocks the shit out of me that these companies out here don't utilize mature women more because if there's anybody that can tell you whether or not a product's good or not from a consumer standpoint, it's somebody who's been buying them for 30 years. Okay, <clears throat> next, number 33, Bitter. I'm telling you, whoever named these, Richly Made Up, So Chic and, pol and Polish, On the Rock, Celebrity Affair, Socially Broken, Conceited, and now Bitter. <laughs> okay, this is, looks kind of like a moss green in the pan. So, got a lot of, I can see like um, teal or real light green sparkles in it though. You know, it's funny because they, a lot of these seem to have a really different texture to them. So, that's interesting. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's like a true olive green. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Yeah, that's, I like that a lot. I can do a really pretty green smoky eye with that one. Yeah, I press too. If you press too hard on these, like I said, they, they really, uh, they give. So don't, you know, all I can say is be gentle with them because just rubbing my finger over them um, you know, they, if I rub too hard, they really want to just give way. So I would recommend just taking it easy with them. Okay, the next one, hold on, I gotta wipe. I got green everywhere for some reason. Oh, good lord. Okay, next one. <laughs> the names, number three, five star luxury. We're, we're all on the celebrity, uh, you know, everyone's 
<laughs> seems like these are all named after Hollywood type stuff. Uh, and this one, again, is another one that has kind of a coppery look to it. Seems like this is uh, the third one now. Now this one has a real nice feel to it. Real nice texture feel. So let's see what she looks like. Beautiful. Look at that. This one's more of a pinky copper than the other one was, but this is basically like the third copper shade, you know, one that's in the copper family. So I guess they really like that color. <clears throat> to have three of them so far out of nine or ten that I've done. Okay, number 41, Gold Digger. And this one is gold, without a doubt. That is, looks like kind of a true 24 karat yellow gold. So let's see how she feels. This one's kind of um, another one that's very fragile feeling. But boy, is she gold, look at that. Yeah, that is gold all right. Oh wow, look at that. Sorry for looking in the viewfinder so much, but it's the only way I can see to swatch my hands going backwards. Okay, and the last one in this little batch, and my hand is not wanting to come open. Number 18, the Afterglow. And another brown type, it seems like these brown type uh, and copper ones are very, oh, this one's really smooth. Yeah, this one's real smooth. Seems like they, I'm seeing a trend here on the colors that they're doing. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's a pretty color. Yeah, they're all pretty. I mean, I, I haven't found one yet that, that I don't like, but I am seeing a lot that you really wouldn't, you know, if you're interested in getting these, what I would do is, you know, watch back through my video slowly and, you know, write a list of the ones you like and then write a list of the ones that are comparable to them because there's a lot of comparable colors here. I mean, you know, if I wasn't getting them, all of them to swatch for you guys, there's no way I would have bought every single one of them. Okay, so starting at the top here, we've got number 33, which is bitter. Number three, wait, where am I? Yeah, number three, five star luxury. Number 41, gold digger. And number 18, the afterglow. Yeah. yeah. $5.99 a piece. I, you can't complain about that, but boy, is that one stained. Look <laughs> that one, the green. Okay, let's see. The next one is number 20, Coffee and Drama. See what I mean? We can just name it Coffee, Coffee and Drama. You can you're getting the whole Hollywood vibe here. Another kind of brown, brownish, a lot of these in the collection. I would seriously, unless you want every single one of them, I would go through and compare these before, uh, you know, because there's a lot of them that are very similar in color. Beautiful, but you know, you don't, I mean, they're so similar in color. They're just different degrees and shades. And you know, they're very, very close. Matter of fact, if I had more time in this video, if you're interested, let me know because what I can do is I can go through after I've swatched all these in a different video because this one's going to be too long as it is. But if you want to see the ones that are all really close in comparison, let me know down in the comments because I'll record just a quick video. Quick. <laughs> I'll record a quick one showing all of the similar ones side by side so you can actually see them right next to each other. So just let me know if you want that. I'd be happy to do it. Okay, this one is number 42, Champagne Nights. And this one is the lightest one I've come across so far. This is like a uh, just straight up like Becca Moonstone type. Oh boy, but this one, the texture is really, this one I knew right away didn't look, didn't look like it's pressed in the pan properly. I don't know if you can see, but it's really, um, yeah, it's, something's not quite right with this one, because look at it on my finger even, swatching it. Can you see all the chunks of product? 
I mean, just rubbing my finger on it gently, it's just coming up in clumps. So I think something's not quite right with this one, but we'll swatch her anyways. So this one again is 42 Champagne Nights. And it's kind of a shit and shame that that one is like that because that's not gonna pick up on a brush smooth like the other ones would because of how the products all clump together. Um, even just on my finger like that because that color would be an absolute gorgeous highlighter for fair skin. And it almost looks like it almost looks like a duochrome, like it's got a, um, it looks like a pink duochrome. Let's see if I can kind of try and, oh, my light's too bright. Of course, of all the times for my light to be too bright. You see the duochrome in there? It's not super strong, but it's definitely there. Well, that's too bad that one's kind of mucked up. Uh, again, that's number 42, Champagne Nights. Okay, now we're doing number 24, Untamed. Overall though, I mean, so far, finally, this is what I've been wanting besides all the browns. Look at that, now that's gorgeous. Let's hope this one swatches good. This one feels like silk. Whatever formula they have in this one, this is what they should stick with on all of them because this is gorgeous in the way it feels and I know it's gonna swatch that way too. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. That is your standard, that is your standard cranberry gorgeousness. Look at that. And look at the reflect coming off of that. That's beautiful. These two colors together, can you imagine those in a look? Actually, all three of them. There's your holiday look. <laughs> Doesn't that look like Christmas to you, all three of those colors? We don't need green for Christmas. You can have kind of a brownie gold, a beautiful cranberry, and a, and a white. That is gorgeous. That one I really like. I'd say that's probably my favorite one so far, even above the copper one. And again, that one is number 24, Untamed. Okay, next. Number 14, Rodeo Drive. Yep, these are all Hollywood named. Another coppery type. They really went hard on the copper brown shades in this. And I know those are the most popular right now, but now see this one, we're back to kind of a rougher, I mean, it's not a rough texture. It just doesn't pick up as smoothly, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's beautiful though. See, that's another coppery shade. Got a lot of coppers and a lot of browns in this range. That cranberry one's my favorite. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so we've got Coffee and Drama, Champagne Nights, Untamed, and Rodeo Drive. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. They are very fragile. I cannot stress that enough. These are not pigments that, uh, oh God, they're all over me everywhere. <laughs> These are not pigments that I would, you know, if you took them with you somewhere, you'd have to be damn careful. Let's just say that because they're, uh, you know, they're very soft. They basically, you know, take a, a MAC pigment and press it into a pan and that's basically what you got here. So they're very soft. And that's not, it's not a fault in them, it's just something to be aware of that, you know, some pigments are pressed. Like I just uh, recorded the uh, Pat McGrath video, if you want to take a peek at that. And her pigments are pressed into the pan like a rock, even though they're smooth as silk. So some, you know, it just depends on the kind of pigment you're dealing with. These happen to be soft. Okay, this is number 23, make a statement. It's got an exclamation point there. So, oh, that's gorgeous. This is like a teal. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's like a dark teal. Um, yeah, that's really pretty. It's like a blackened teal, the best way I can describe it. Oh, oh, the texture on this one is not good at all. What a shame. Well, we'll see how it, it this one, this is the first one I felt like this. I mean, it, it just picks up, 
you know, like the champagne one, can you see all the clumps of product on my finger? And I did not press hard, but this one almost feels gritty. That's the best way I can describe it, it feels gritty. Press it hard into my skin so it doesn't clump up. But God, look at that color. That's gorgeous. That's like a blackened teal. Anyways, that one's, it's a gorgeous color. I mean, there's no question about that. That is a beautiful color, especially for fall. But the texture of it's horrible. Um, that's the only one so far that I found that's like that. So, I don't know why, but that is not that. Well, again, that was number 23, Make a Statement. Okay, now we've got number eight, Hollywood Vixen. And uh, this is kind of a taupey champagne type color. Now see, this one's real smooth. And you can see the difference of it on my fingers. See how there's no clumps of product on there like there was in the previous one? Yeah, this one's real smooth and nice. Ooh, those two are pretty together, aren't they? <laughs> Damn recording! Stopped! Yeah, but look at those two. Come on, camera. Focusy, focusy. There we go. Yeah, look at those two. Aren't those beautiful together? That's a pretty one, and that one has a good texture. And again, that is number eight, Hollywood Vixen. I don't know what the hell this is. But this is in each one of them, and that's why I'm having a hard time putting them back in the package because that thing keeps getting in the way. Okay, the next one is number 45, Dress to Impress. And we have another brown toned one. I definitely need to compare these. And this one has a real smooth, nice texture to it. It's a little bit chunkier than the previous one, as you can see on my finger there, but it's not nearly as bad as this Make a Statement one, so. Beautiful color though, look at that. God, I got it ever, oh my God, it's all over my arm, even the green one. <laughs> Beautiful colors. They are beautiful colors. They're swatching, for the most part, they're swatching really nice. There's, you know, I've only encountered a couple of them that I would say need some help. Um, but considering how many I've swatched, you know, that's, and that they're $5.99, I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's pretty good. Okay, this is number two, Ferrari. I would, the funny thing is, I was just thinking I haven't seen any grays or any black tones or anything, and here's a gray one. A silvery gray. Let's see how this one feels. Yeah, this one feels nice. It's kind of the texture of most of them. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so we've got Make a Statement. Hollywood Vixen, Dress to Impress, and Ferrari on the bottom. Beautiful. <sighs> We're halfway through. Like I said, I got them all so I could swatch them for you guys. <sighs> that's the reason I, that's the reason I got them all. Would have been nice to be on Morphe's PR list and actually get sent some of their products once in a while, but Never know, maybe someday. You know, people say, oh, PR, PR, but you know what? It costs a lot of money to adequately fund. You know, if I want to have a channel that is showing you all the latest and greatest coming out and everything, uh, yeah, it costs a hell of a lot of money to do that on your own. So don't knock it when somebody says they're showing PR or whatever because. I, you know, it, it's basically, you know, with the money you have to spend on recording equipment and everything else and, it, you know, it's pretty hard to have a successful channel without support. I'll just say that. Okay, number five, Gossip Girl. And girl is G-U-R-L. Ah, finally, we're back into some red tones. This one looks... 
a little rosier than the last really cranberry shade. This almost looks like a copper, uh, like a pink copper. Yeah. They're really heavy on the copper and brown tones in here. That one's very orange. Orangey pinky. Got a lot of orange and a lot of pink in there, but it is pretty. Very pretty. Again, that's number five, Gossip Girl. Oop! Way to go. <laughs> I'm saying be careful with them, and I just smashed one on the counter. Okay, number 15, Marry the Night. And it's another brown one, but at least this one's taupey. Got a lot more purple in it. I've been waiting for this kind of color. Oh, now see this one? Again, here we go. This just feels exquisite in terms of the formula. That is what Morphe needs to stick with right there. This is the second one I felt like this that's just been like glass. And that, you know, if they can do it with one for this price, they can do it with them all. Isn't that beautiful? That's a pretty color. That's a pretty color. Of course, next to that coppery one, I don't think it would be as, um, it's drawing a lot of pink from the copper next to it, or from this one above here. So I think it would look, uh, that's kind of one of those colors that's gonna play off whatever you put it with. Like right now, it's looking a lot more copper than when I look at it individually. When I look at it individually, I'm, I see a lot more taupe in it. So, again, that's number 15, Marry the Night. Okay, next is number 21, Antisocial. And here we have another gray toned, or black toned, whatever you prefer. Another really nice feeling one. This one's got a little bit chunkier than the other, but it's nice feeling nonetheless. Mmm, beautiful. Nice. I'm really impressed, Morphe. You know, this is the thing, too. If Morphe can pull it off for $5.99 and have this kind of quality and pigmentation and the color, other companies can, too. They just choose not to. Okay, this is number 12, Mimosa Sunday. Oh, and here's, let's hope this one's better than my champagne one because this looks like a beautiful highlight color for somebody with fair skin. Let me get my finger clean. Oh, no, what is it with the light ones? That's really unfortunate. I mean, it's just clumpy mess. It's really weird, can you see that? how it's not smooth and shiny like the other. There's so much product clumped on there that you can't even see the reflect. It's not even allowing it to reflect properly. So let's see how she looks. It's really unfortunate because, let's rub that in. These, the two light colors for some reason are like that. Don't know why. You can see it's beautiful color there on the bottom. It's really pretty, but the texture of it's Horrible. Kind of like that Champagne Nights. So it was the same way. Okay, so on the top here we've got number five, Gossip Girl. Number 15, Marry the Night. Number 21, Antisocial. And number 12, Mimosa Sunday. We're getting down there. <laughs> we've got like seven left. And then we're on to, I'm sure, what everyone wants to see, which is the Kathleen Lights palette. Woo! -hoo! I literally, I kid you not, because of the fact that I have a tendency to miss all the new releases, I really do. I mean, you know, my schedule and uh, my hours and stuff, I, I just, I miss everything. So I said, I knew that if I didn't get this right away, I wouldn't have a chance at it. So I actually set an alarm so I could stop working, stop everything, and I was on the website 10 minutes prior to 10 refreshing, 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 and stacking these the minute they came up. And they sold out pretty damn quick. Okay, number 46, Bad Romance. Funny thing is, is when I checked back a couple hours later, I thought for sure they would have been gone and they were still there even then, which really surprised me. Oh, another brown tone. A lot of brown tones that pull copper and 
Oh, and this one, another one that feels real nice. Now see, look at the, you can clearly see on my finger. See how it's reflecting on my finger and there's no product chunked up around it? Yeah, this is a nice one. And that's a beautiful color. That's more of a, it's more of a chocolate. Really pretty. Mm, I like that one a lot. It's one of my favorites too. It's uh, 46 Bad Romance. Okay, <laughs> number one is room service. What a way to start the collection with room service. I like it. And this one looks like a silvery green. So let's hope she's as pretty as she looks in the pan. Yeah, this one's got that kind of chunky texture to it as well, but it's not as bad as the really light ones are. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That is pretty. Now I'm going to, and if you're interested in seeing a video on that, let me know in the comments too. I'm going to be depotting all of these. It's going to take me a while to depot 30 of them. And, uh, God, these little cardboard things in here driving me nuts. Um, I certainly don't have to record, you know, I wouldn't record a whole video dep showing you depotting every single one. Um, but if you'd like to see a video on how I depot, because I do not use, um, a lot of people use a lighter. I do not. I use a flat iron. So um, if you're interested in seeing how I depot, I'd be happy to record a video just showing you, you know, step by step from the very beginning to the end of how I depot these. Just let me know. Okay, this is number 29, Smoke and Mirrors, and we're back to the gray tones now. This one's much lighter, though, than the previous ones. This is a, actually, this is like a blue silver. It's got a lot of blue in it. Pretty color, it looks like. Let's pop it right there. Oh, yeah, it's really pretty. That reminds me of a storm cloud. You know, the ones that come in before they get real dark and nasty looking, they change to this color. And you can tell they're full of rain. You can tell I live in Seattle, huh? Not <laughs> describing eyeshadow colors by the clouds and rain. Okay, number nine, high class. We've only got three left after this one. So this is quite the collection that they released. A lot of coppers. <laughs> This one's a like a more of a yellow, yellow peachy copper, and it's really chunky too. It's unfortunate. I don't know why they're um, they need to. Of course, this is their first time releasing these, so and you can see how peach. Look at the peach tone in that one. That's actually really pretty. I really like that one. Really pretty. Okay, so up at the top here, we've got Bad Romance. Oh wait, sorry, number 46, Bad Romance. Number one, Room Service. Number 29, Smoke and Mirrors. And number nine, High Class. Pretty, very pretty, I love that one right there. Now see that Bad Romance one that I did at the top there that has that real silky, silky texture to it? If I was Morphe, I'd be aiming all of these formulas like that one when they, you know, because the company always, you know, they release something and they always strive to, you know, make improvements and so if I was them, that's what I'd be doing because that's a really, really nice texture to it and, uh, you know, like I said, if they can do it with a couple of them because several of them in here have, in this collection have had that really nice soft texture to it. So if they can do it with couple they can do it with all of them but I mean I'm not complaining they're for $5.99 are they worth it absolutely and especially you know you use somebody's discount code on top of it yeah okay this is number 39 designer everything oh finally this is what I love these for fall the kind of reds and cranberries and deep plums and purples. Oh, now see, it's really interesting because these dark, you know, you would think, because red is one of the hardest ones <laughs> is to do, but interestingly enough, all of their ones that are red and dark brown tone, the really, really dark ones, have this just like silk texture. Do you see that? 
there's not a crumble of product on there anywhere. It's just smooth across my fingertip as it will be across my hand. Look at that. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful. And you can see the copper jumping out of that in the red. That is beautiful. It kind of looks brown and dark from one angle and then the light hits it and ba bam That's beautiful. That is number 39, Designer Everything. Perfect name for it because it looks like a designer color. <clears throat> okay, number 36, Tragic Fashion. Oh, that's a character. And we've got a gold, a yellowy gold. And this one's got that chunky texture. You know, again, it's just kind of you can see the difference there. Pretty, pretty, pretty color though. Very pretty. Look at the pigmentation in that. I mean, you just can't, you can't beat it for $5.99. I, I don't care if, you know, the, the textures of them are inconsistent. There's no doubt about that. I mean, you've seen that in the swatches I'm doing. Um, in my opinion, they, they overdid it on the browns. There, there's too many browns here that are way too similar. And like I said, I'd be happy to do a swatch comparison video for you showing just the browns and uh, the browns and the coppers. There's a lot of brown and copper in here. And I would have liked to have seen um, some more champagne colors in here. I would have liked to have seen certainly some more red tones. Uh, some more cranberry tones. Um, there's nothing, and I mean, nowhere in autumn, so that makes a big difference. But so far, I haven't. There's actually, I'm on the last one now. I haven't come across a black black. Um, you know, I would have liked to have seen a real high shine black. Uh, that would have been nice for a smoky eye to use on the lid, having that real, real dark charcoal. It has a killer shine to it. But anyways, okay, let's get to it. This one is number 47, Kill the Lights. And again, this is another coppery family. And this one's smooth as glass. Look at that, you can see the shine from back here. Ba-bam, look at that, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so we've got on the top, Designer Everything, or sorry, number 39, Designer Everything, number 36, Tragic Fashion, number 47, Kill the Lights. Now see, I think, you know, that color right there is absolutely stunning, that Designer Everything, beautiful. Um, oh my God, look, look at all the product bunched up right there. I didn't even see, see how my finger grabs way more than's needed. I mean, look at that. You gotta be really gentle with these because, you know, I was just slightly swatching my finger around the pan, but you can see, I mean, all that extra product that it picked up, look at that. So you, you've gotta be gentle with these. There's just no question about it because they have a very delicate constitution. Um, but my opinion overall, I think they're worth $5.99. There's no question about it at all. Again, I think they're really, um, I think they kind of overdid it on the browns and they overdid it on the coppers in terms of, you know, this is a 30 pan collection here. So I would have liked to have seen more of a rainbow of colors. Um, there's a couple, you know, there's a silver blue in there, but there's nothing that's actual blue blue. There's a cup and you know, people, you know, blue may not be a popular color I wear a whole lot, but it certainly is, especially for people who have brown eyes, blue looks absolutely stunning. And if they're, you know, like in here, I really think, especially in winter time, it would have been nice to have a real nice jewel tone blue. Um, you know, think of a Christmas ball. You know, you see that real beautiful, highly reflective jewel tone blue. I think this collection's missing that. It would have been nice to have seen um, a couple more champagne type colors or maybe uh, ones that have a little duochrome in them, you know. Um, and I already said about the black, you know, a, a high gloss, high reflect black would be st stunning in this collection. Um, and, you know, my opinion though is definitely that they are worth $5.99. Um, you know, you saw it right here. 
uh, swatching everyone in before you and I will be happy to depot each one of these and pop them in Z palettes. I've already bought the Z palettes for them so uh, you know these will be I'm not one of those people who's afraid to wear shimmer up on my you know besides just on my eyelid you know I don't mind having shimmer go up onto my eye at all so I'll play with these and you know like I might take that cran one of those cranberry ones and really pack it heavily on the lid maybe with a little you know I had bought some uh, Too Faced glitter glue and I might put some of that on and then really pack that cranberry on the lid and then real softly blow it up into the crease and then add a little definition in the corner. That'd be gorgeous. Maybe put a little gold jewel, uh, jewel tone with it for a holiday look. You know, I, I think people need to get over this whole, you gotta do matte everywhere. Matte has to be in the crease. Matte has to be in the crease. I mean, I might use a little bit, you know, obviously use a matte as a base. I might put down some transition color, but then taking like that cranberry and really emphasizing on the lid and then blowing it out real soft up into the crease be gorgeous are you kidding me and the funny thing is is when I was younger that was totally the rage I mean all this matte stuff has all come on everything has to be matte you know your blush has to be matte your lipstick has to be matte your eyeshadow has to be matte why I you know what I don't understand I love matte shadows don't get me wrong and I use them every day what I don't understand is why people want everything to look so flat that's what I don't get the whole thing about color that intrigues me personally is not just the different colors and the depth of color but I like seeing the different when the light hits it how it re, how it responds to different levels of light and you don't get that with mattes there's nothing to reflect off of you know so I just I think trends are changing though and I really think that uh, we're gonna start seeing a lot more use of shimmer shadows in the crease. I think the matte craze is kind of dying down and quite frankly I'm happy for that. Um, like I said I love matte shadows. There's some matte palettes I still really want to get like the Viseart ones. I don't have those yet. I really want to get those. So okay I'm gonna take a break real fast. It'll be just a second to you but I have to go <laughs> wash my little swatchy goo here because it's a mess on both sides and then we will open these babies next so I'll be right back. <laughs> 